fromage fry. It's me again. And in this one, I'm having a go on this. So what have we got here then? This is Tesco's finest white chocolate and berry twin tarts. And they are new. Summer edition. All but a pastry filled with white chocolate baked cheesecake, red currants and black currants. Oh yes. Now, I might get these out of here because I don't want a like turn them upside down and go red because these cost a lot of money these are a right treat i'll tell you for what they are but we'll come to that in a minute so they came out of the like the the fresh cream section of the tesco's bakery section sort of thing so there's your if I can't see, but there's your traffic lights. Two reds and two ambers. Um, 148 grams. Now, allergens, we've got milk, wheat, egg and soya. Suitable for vegetarians. Um, and... We have got 359 calories per 100 grams. So there's your ingredients. There's your nutritional. Um, I don't think that really says anything else. So, price. These cost... Where is it? What have I done with it? Three pound. Three pound. Three pound for two. Well, there they go. It's gone. Three pound for two little tarts. That's a lot of money, isn't it? Two little tarts. Three quid. But they were on a very slight deal. If you use your club card, two pound seventy. That's still a lot. That's still a lot. What was that? Hundred and uh, bear with. I'm gonna to have to get the box back. Right. I've retrieved the box. Hundred and forty-eight grams for the two. For two pounds seventy. These need to be really good. But there we are. Look, there they are. Dear little summer tarts. Bob's having a sniffing around, open something fell out of the box. Right, okay. Here we go, let's get one out. So these are, oh, I thought they were like a cardboardy type tray, but are they? Then I thought they were foiled. I no, I think they are. <coughs> Like a cardboardy type thing, card. Right, there it is. Now it's got the feel of an egg, egg custard. That's what it feels like. It's, it feels cold and damp, that um, pastry. Of course it's been in the fridge. But it's just got that egg custard feel about it. Right, let's get into it. Mm. Oh, oh yeah. It is just a lot of the well the inner bit is look cheesecake, but you obviously ain't got your biscuit base. You got it in a little pastry tart instead of your traditional cheesecake base. Mm. And what I'm now thinking is, why on earth don't they make a big version of this, the size of a cheesecake? 
and instead of having your biscuit base do it like that just a big version of that wow that'd be amazing but at this price you'd be looking at a 400 gram cheesecake what they are aren't they about that even more than that that'd be over a tenner But that is really good. Wow. Expensive though, which is going to affect the score. So, to get an 8, I've got to buy it again. And it's got to be tasty. Well, it smashes through the tasty uh, requirement. Would I buy it again? Yes. But only like... You know sometimes when you, I don't know, something might happen and you think, oh, I'm going to go out and treat myself. You know, I'm, I'm going to get something nice, treat myself. That's when I'd buy it again. So it might happen, you know, once in a blue moon. And I would buy them again because these, they're really tasty. They really are. I'll finish it off. Mm. That pastry is perfect. You know that sort of pastry when it's really hard and quite dry? I don't like it. What is that called? Short crust pastry, is it? What is this? Does it say? All butter pastry. That, I mean that. It's sort. Of, it's got the look of that sort of short crust pastry or whatever it's called, but it's nothing like it. It's really soft and like it says, all butter. It's just got this dampness about it, softness. There's zero crunch in it. It's really nice. They've got to make a big one of these. Do anyone? Does anyone know if they make? You know, not Tesco's, but anybody makes like a pastry filled cheesecake instead of like a biscuit based one. Because if they don't, you know, there's a gap in the market here. Someone needs to get making it. Even if it's as their essentials, get making it, honestly. Do a, a big version of that at a decent price to compete with cheesecakes. It would sell. So there we are, right, score, what am I going to give it? It's got to get a 9. I'm giving it a 9, just because this is really tasty. If it had been like, within the range of, you know, I always like to look at a penny a gram. So, I mean, 150 grams. If they'd have been £2, that would have been getting up for 9.5. But because it is £3 normally, it's a bit too much really. So it's well worth a nine. Don't think it gets it on the board. Don't think it does now. But there we are. That's nine. That's a good score, boo boo. Right, so there we are, guys. That is another something sweet with a nice cup of coffee food review. Thanks for watching, and I hope you'll join me. And old Boo Boo here, the custard kid. Hi Boo Boo. Getting soon on another video. Take care guys. Right Boo Boo, let's quickly get you done before the cartoon Boo Boo. Flipping gets hold of that thing and boots it up my bonzo here. You you, your cartoon plum and try and bounce that off my head, doesn't he? Huh? Come on, let's get Bob sorted out first. Before that thing fly off. They are, Bob. They are. Look, see, look, it's flying round, Boo Boo. That's the cartoon version of you done that. God, I can't get them out. There's two. There's three, Boo Boo. Oh, blimey.
Blimey, Bobo! Go on, flippin' heck. Mind you, I don't think you gave that quite as much welly that time, Bobo. What do you mean you hope Charlie gives us our ball back? Who is this Charlie geezer anyway, Boo Boo? Oh dear, Boo Boo. Maybe he'll send the ball back when he sends Bob's telegram through the post when he turns a hundred at Christmas. <laughs>